Welcome back everyone. Today we have very interesting news about the RCS 11, this time by the Greek website Matrix Life. Apparently they had someone who was able to view the device and report some of its features, so salt shakers might be required today. Supporting the channel can be as simple as taking 5 seconds of your time to click the like button. Last time we hit 13 likes, let's go for at least 15 this time. Thank you so much. Alright, so they talked about some confirmed features in the report that we have already mentioned in previous videos. But I'll talk about the most mind-blowing one here, the camera. So, a little bit of a background. Earlier this year, Huawei gave us the P30 Pro with 5x optical zoom and 50x digital zoom. Oppo also introduced the Reno 10x zoom with its 10x optical and 60x digital zoom. Now, to zoom in this much, you need special magnifying lenses that are going to be placed at a relatively greater distance than what we have in normal cameras. But of course, you can't have a bump that's protruding like 2 centimeters. so instead they put the actual sensor and lenses parallel to the body of the phone and use a mirror-like structure to redirect the light to the sensor. And that's why we call it a periscope camera. Now it looks like Samsung is about to take this to a whole new level. The telephoto lens of the Galaxy S11 is going to be 48 megapixels and with a periscope that allows it to have 10 times optical zoom and 100 times digital zoom. This is the most zoom I have ever seen in a smartphone. And because Samsung is doing it, I'm sure the end result will look even better than Oppo's experience. So imagine how much you can zoom and still be satisfied with the details. The website also confirmed the 108 megapixel sensor in the setup, that the phone will be able to record in 8K 30fps, and that while recording from a lens, you'll see the preview of what you would get when you record with another lens and switch easily between them. Now we got renders of the S11 and the S11e. But we don't know yet how the S11 Plus will look like. Ice Universe says it's going to be different than the S11. He also says Samsung has been guarding the phone and that it may be the real nuclear weapon. Also, I'd like to correct a previous video about the sensors on the back of the device. Looks like this one is gonna be the laser focus module, which means the extra two sensors from the Galaxy S11 are going to be the 3D camera system. Laser autofocus is much better than traditional autofocus. It should be faster and more accurate. As I'm making this video, looks like OnLeaks is onto something. Could it be the Galaxy S11 Plus? Only one way to find out. Click the like button and subscribe with notifications on so you don't miss out when something happens. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.